13 signs tarot before we get into your reading i would like to let you know if you need a personal reading from me you can check out my website at harleysworld13.com tarot you can book a personal reading by going to that website you also can check out some of the products i have there i have candles teas and sage you can all check all that out on the website if you would like to get conjure work or spell work you can email me at 13 signs tarot at gmail.com if you're interested in getting free readings, I do free readings on Instagram Live, so you can check me out on Instagram at 13 Signs Tarot as well. I thank you so much for watching. Please leave a comment and a like, and if you like my videos, please subscribe and hit the notification bell because it will let you know when I upload new videos or when I go live on YouTube, okay? Thank you so much. Hope you enjoy your reading. Bye. Hello, Scorpio. This is going to be your October 2019 love reading. I hope you're doing well wherever you are. I'm doing well. This is Harley, and welcome to 13 Signs Tarot. So, in this reading, we'll be going over your partner's thoughts and actions, your thoughts and actions, you know, the general energy, and we'll also be looking at the outcome for this month. We'll go deeper into the outcome in the extended, see where everything is going to lead. Um, in the coming months we're also going to be looking at november december and january in the extended so if you're interested in that you can check out the extended in the description you'll just hit the little tab and the description box will open and the extended will be linked i'll also try to remember to link it in the comments all right i also will be doing end of the year readings those will be coming soon so if you're interested in getting um that you will have a full you know reading for each of the months coming for uh, the end of the year going into January. So if you're interested in that, I will be letting you guys know when I'll be dropping those videos, okay? So Scorpio, we have your cards here. Happy birthday to those who will be celebrating your birthdays in October. I have a Halloween baby, so he will be turning eight on Halloween. Uh, so, you know, we're sized around here, of course. I chose two particular decks that are, I feel like, appropriate for Halloween. This is the Book of the Dead Tarot. And this is the Gypsy Witch Tarot. Uh, both of these decks I actually got in New Orleans. But you can get, I believe, I know you can get this one on Amazon. The Book of Dead. And the Gypsy Witch, I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure you can probably get it on Amazon. Alright. So, let's get into it, Scorpio. Your card is the Ten, well, I'm sorry. What's coming towards you from your partner is the Ten of Wands. So, some of you are dealing with someone who's exhausted here. Okay, they've put in a lot, they're putting a lot of effort into something, but they're feeling exhausted with the Ten of Wands. You may be giving, get, dealing with someone who is giving up on the situation, or you feel, or they feel like you are, but that's their energy. Oh, uh, let me pull these cards first, and then we'll get the clarifiers. Let me keep the same system that I was doing with all the other ones. All right, so we have, um, the next card for you is the Two of Wands. So you are looking towards new things anyway. So I feel for a lot of you, this Ten of Wands energy may be someone that is karmic anyway, and you may be needing to leave this person behind, okay? I feel like with this Ten of Wands person, this could be someone who was in your way from moving on to something else here with the Two of Wands. I'm really feeling like you are looking uh, into new things, you know, where you want to go next, um, you know, being with another person, another place, you know, that type of energy. You're looking to the future so i feel for some of you this ending is already you already saw the ending coming a lot of you are very intuitive so maybe you already saw the ending coming anyway so you're preparing for that and i think this person may have been trying to make things work with you but now they're losing steam with that your outcome is the two of cups so i feel this is where you're headed scorpio i think this is a person that you've been having your eye on anyway this could be another water person pisces cancer or scorpio but i do feel because this is venus and cancer but i do feel that you could be moving towards a twin somebody who's your twin flame maybe you were with a karmic and now you are headed towards something new here all right i feel that you already knew that this like transition was about to happen i think this is the month where that transition becomes more um apparent through actions because the wands are here so maybe just the way things are being played out in october make you realize that something that you've been in is coming to an end and you're going towards a newer energy here um i really don't feel like this is the person you're going to be with but let's see what the clarifiers say we have the six of pentacles okay so this could be someone that you were dealing with on a codependent level as far as finances you live together with this person could have children or this could have been someone who was trying to make up things to you be with you from the past and you you know 
they're I feel like they're still going to be trying throughout October, but I feel like they may be losing losing steam with that. This person who may be trying to keep the relationship due to finances or reconcile with you, what have you. Your energy for the clarifiers with five of cups. Yeah, I feel like you're ready to move on. Okay, I feel like this person that you were dealing with may have had you in a third party situation or uh, be honest, this could be the Scorpio because you are showing up as the two of wands. So Scorpio, you could have had a third party and you've been stuck between these two people. Maybe this person here was somebody that you had financial obligations to or you were tied in financially i feel for some of you, you could already be getting a divorce from this person or you were already um divorcing this person and now that's coming to an end and i feel like you may have been the one who had the third party if you weren't then it's not for you but there are people cross watching so scorpio could have been the one who had a third party this person could have very well had a third party you both may have had third parties who knows but i feel like with the five of cups you're again because in the regular white right the Five of Cups is someone looking at the Three of Cups, but behind them is that Two of Cups here at the top. So you are headed towards a Twin Flame relationship for a lot of you. King of Cups, that's your energy. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. So this could be you in the outcome becoming single, okay? Um, you're deciding to be single and now go towards someone else. If you look at the bottom, that is the hands coming together. So this is a Two of Cups energy for me as well. Because in the Psychic Tarot, the Prosperity Begins card, there's hands on that as well. That's talking about new beginnings with a, another person. Um, it could be a water sign, a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. I feel for a lot of you, you may be just becoming single. And now you're available to a Two of Cups. So you may have not even met your person. You may have. But I do feel like this is you being single because it's you in the outcome and being ready for a new love. Let's see what your Psychic Tarot card is. Is. We have the High Priestess, which is the Divine Feminine half of um, the Twin Flame Union for me. So I feel for a lot of you, um, you are there was someone waiting for you, Scorpio. There was someone waiting for you here. This could be another water sign because to me, High Priestess energies, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Um, this is another two. As you can see, you um, you could have you could be someone's twin for the woman. Uh, or the one who resonate under the the people watching who resonate under divine feminine energy. This could be you. Um, you could have been. You could be someone's twin, and they were waiting on you. Okay, so you were wait. They were waiting for you to put down this burden. Um, or it could go the other way around. You were waiting for someone to put down their burden, but I'm seeing it's possibly you. This is coming up in your energy with the two of wands. Maybe you were wondering if this person will ever put down a financially codependent burden and be able to be in a relationship with you. Maybe Scorpio, this person had you in a third party and now they're putting down this burden, ten of wands, they're reconciling with you, six of pentacles, and now you two can move forward. Maybe some of you are waiting on a water sign or what have you, but I see maybe you're moving forward with someone that you were waiting on or they were waiting on you okay that's what i'm seeing i feel for a lot of you who are watching this for male scorpios you were waiting on them to be done with someone and now they're coming towards you to be in a relationship but that's just what i feel for the divine masculine who are scorpios all right i really don't need a lot of clarifying on this i am going to clarify that king of cups but this is really like apparent and then in the extended we're going to go over that two of cups and that king of cups to see more about this new relationship coming in um and we'll also go over November, December, and January for this connection to see where it's headed towards next year. And look at this. Two of Wands again. These cards have been very synchronized in these water sign readings. I've done of the other two water signs and they're all been synchro synchronized like that. Knight of Cups. Wow. So some of you already had an offer from someone. There was already love between you and someone else and they were waiting on you to take their offer or you were waiting on them to take the offer, whatever it is here. But the... I really feel the water sign, Scorpio, you've been at a crossroads, I feel, because you've got the uh, King of Cups and the Two of Wands again. So you could have been the one who was at a crossroads, and now you're deciding to leave behind something here, or this person is losing steam. Let's clarify this Ten of Wands and see why they're showing up as the Ten of Wands. Wow, just came out really fast. Some of you, this could be a wife, okay? You could be dealing with a Taurus or a Libra. So some of you could be married to this person or have children with them. Yeah, Ten of Cups, this could have been a family situation. Okay, and I'm hearing for some of you, they may not even have been your children. Some of you could have been like a step-parent. I mean, they're your children in love, but I mean like biologically, somebody could have been step-parent. Yep, Five of Pentacles and Three of Cups. So there was third-party energies involved in this situation. Also, maybe a lack of abundance for some of you. There could be children involved. 
but there was definitely a third party situation that could have been creating the energy of lack because you can only give to so many people under certain circumstances like that okay so what we'll do is go ahead and talk about the more positive aspects of this reading i feel like some of you are letting go of a long-term relationship to go towards a new relationship that has more stability that's more of an eye to eye twin flame type of energy so we'll look at that in the extended uh, we'll also look at the upcoming months going into january so if you're interested in the extended make sure you check it out in the description again if you would like to get free readings on um instagram follow me on 13 signs tarot on instagram uh, free readings will be done on Instagram Live. I'll let you, I always announce it and let people know. If you would like a personal, you can check out my website. It's harleysworldtarot.com. I'm sorry, harleysworld13.com slash tarot. That will also be listed in the description. And please subscribe so you can see more of my readings. And I would really appreciate it if you left a comment or some type of heart emoji, a like on the video. It really just helps, okay? Thank you so much, Scorpio. Bye. Hi out there, I hope you're doing well. I'm doing great. Have you ever wondered how to read your birth chart? Well, if you tune in to our webinar on October 5th at 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, you'll learn how to read your natal chart properly, where to even start. You'll also learn the astrological symbols for each of the planets and what the planets mean in your birth chart. After the webinar, you should be able to look at your own chart and be able to tell your love, money, and karmic energy for this lifetime. Make sure you check out our extra option where you can get your sidereal birth chart and a 10-minute reading done by Harley on your love, money, and karmic energy for this lifetime. I hope to see you there. Bye.